Yeah. All right. We got a we got our pig. We got our nice trusty steed here. That is actually kind of creepy. Um, by the way, guys, is the YouTube like button broke? I don't know. Test it out for me. Scroll down. Hit the like button. Tell me if it's broke or not. <laughs> But, uh, welcome to a brand new video. I hope you're all having an absolute amazing day. This pig is being loud and obnoxious. Pig, if you value your own life, be quiet. Don't, don't come near me. What is this? But, uh, either way, uh, welcome aboard to a brand new video. A creepy Minecraft video, without a doubt, without a doubt. If you're new here, subscribe, and enable post notifications by regular bell, making it go ding. It's going to notify you of every single future upload. Where's he at? Where, where's the pig? I heard the pig again. Where did he go? He's near. I know it. What? How did this pig just disappear right in thin air? Eh, there he is. Anyways, he's lucky. Uh, but yeah, guys, if you're new here, subscribe, share with friends, family, so we can furthermore find out what's going on in the mystery side of Minecraft. There's a lot of weird stuff going on in Minecraft, you know, behind the scenes that people don't talk about, and that's what we investigate. So, you know, invite everyone you know to join in on the investigation in this part it's going to be a content overload unlike any other we're going to be talking about things we're going to be doing things that uh have many have suggested in the comment section below i also want to go ahead and just state i read every comment that you guys post so keep them coming in keep the support coming in keep your theories uh not only your theories but uh, uh the name suggestions for this little guy here was absolutely abundant and wonderful and i cannot thank you all enough for that so that is exactly what we're going to be doing in today's video coming up with a name uh selecting a name uh from the comment section on the last video and um yeah I, I think it's a very fitting name the one we're gonna be selecting and um yeah so we're gonna name this guy and of course he is going to be a valuable asset in figuring out what's been going on in my minecraft world if you're not sure this is like the first video you've seen you're not even in a, even a subscriber dude where have you been I'm, I am terribly sorry if not found the channel sooner, but welcome aboard. Uh, basically, I have a haunted Minecraft world here. It started out with what we believe to be a haunted painting because this painting moves and kind of will, like, resonate fire and stuff sometimes, dude. I don't know. Like, if you guys have ever had this specific painting up in your world, you will know that it will sometimes, like, uh, how the fumes of a flame kind of go up like the smoke. Like, if a torch. I have a torch right there, I think. Let me go look at the torch and explain to you guys. Here's a torch, right? Is it? There it is. You guys see how the torch kind of flickers up with flame? This painting will do that from time to time. It's the weirdest thing ever. Uh, and it also looks like it moves a lot sometimes. So it all started with this weird, creepy painting, okay? We knew about this painting, and we were investigating it, and we had some weird signs that randomly appeared in my world, which led us to Disc 11. Now, Disc 11 is something that we definitely got to do, and I, I, I might just quickly brief and talk to you guys on what we're going to be doing with Disc 11. We are going to be doing something else with Disc 11, uh, and it is probably the scariest thing that I'm ever going to do in Minecraft because we already know disc 11 the the disc 11 that I have is like broke where is it this one is like well not just the fact that it is broke um disc 11 did get updated in Minecraft uh a lot of people are like oh dude it didn't get updated what are you talking yes it clearly got updated the sound of disc 11 and the visual appearance of disc 11 got updated just to give us a little bit more of an unfolding story on what is behind disc 11 Mo Mojang definitely are aware of the whole creepy trend and they wanted to spice it up a little bit and give us something to try and figure out which is exactly what we're trying to do here mind you and it is proven to be a complication of scary nature so that's a thing on its own guys uh which we're going to be getting around to but what i wanted to do in today's video as the nighttime hits and it's going to terrify and ripple through the effects of all of the world the villagers i wish them the best of luck uh i want to go over a, a few comments shout out to the individual uh Sorry, I cannot remember your name right now, but you said to investigate the two churches in the village. Not only did you say that the, the the fact that there's two churches, it is a little weird, but you said to investigate the churches because something weird could be lurking in those. Now, that is a good suggestion. We're going to definitely get around to that. Should we sleep through the night or should we, well, fight anything that appears? I think we should probably sleep because I'm not trying to deal with it. I've had enough scary uh, scares in my life, but we're going to address a few things in this video. Uh... While I ask you all a question, oh, I'm sorry, it's a horrible pun, I know. Uh, but either way, uh, what is that? Two creepers drowning themselves in despair. Well, they're about to be after I slash their heads off. Um, let me go ahead and um, eat up on some steak here. Um, steak is a very valuable protein, so let's go ahead and explode. Woo! One creeper down. It's better just to rid your world of any surrounding creepers. That way you don't experience a very, very horrible surprise. All right. I think that's two creepers took out right there. We want to go ahead and surround the area. Do a little 
uh, patrol uh, as the uh, guard that we have to be of our own living condition here. Uh, so we're gonna make sure there's no creepers surrounding. <laughs> Pesky little things. But uh, yeah, we're gonna make sure everything is good here. Oh yeah. <clears throat> I should probably see. Look at it. There's another one. I should probably dress that. Uh, address the traveling merchant. We're gonna get to that here in a second. All right. Let me go finish this guy. All right. Three creepers. That's unbelievable. All right, guys. So what's going on with the traveling merchant? In the last video, I was kind of freaking out. I was like, dude, he's invisible, man. He's haunted. He's evil. Uh, yeah, guys. Big mistake on my end. Uh, not understanding the full Minecraft update. He actually, it's actually natural for him to turn invisible. Uh, but I didn't, the one thing that I still don't know if it is a, like a natural response for a traveling merchant, but he can teleport, like, uh, I, I guess it would make sense that he could maybe have some hit ender pearls and he could teleport, uh, but apparently he does turn himself invisible to uh, kind of like, you know, keep himself safe from mobs and stuff, but uh, I guess he doesn't really care about his llamas, uh, <laughs> he doesn't put those invisible, so he uh, traveling merchants are programmed to go invisible, but are they programmed to teleport? Uh, because obviously he teleported in an instant out of my house when he was like in my basement. He teleported right out of it. Creepiest thing ever. He was there one second, gone the next. So uh, that was super creepy. Um, so yeah, they can go invisible. Apparently they can teleport too. I don't know if that's a valuable thing, but uh, either way, he's still really creepy. He's staying around here. Uh, we don't really quite know what's going on with him. He's been going in our basement where we found the disc 11, a lot of creepy things. So honestly, though he may have the natural attributes of a traveling merchant, he could very much so be doing some creepy stuff as well because I have seen the AI in Minecraft do absolutely unbelievable things which you cannot rid out because it has definitely happened to have plenty of proof in some of my other investigations of just the villagers and things of likes doing unbelievably scary stuff but either way a lot of people are suggestion suggesting to kill the traveling merchant now, am I going to do that? I, I, I just would feel horrible, even though he may be evil. I don't really want to take his life at the moment. Uh, if he does anything else, I can prove it. Now, the totem. A lot of people are saying in the comment section below, destroy the totem. You need to get rid of it. It's a big no-no. And... Um, I actually think you may be right about that one. So we're probably going to take this totem out in today's video. But most importantly, we need to get to naming the horse as well. I think that's a very important thing that we kind of knock out of the way. So we want to name this horse uh, in the most uh, wonderful name that he could possibly be bestowed with. Uh, so we're going to name him Shadow. Now, the reason why I picked Shadow, uh, for multiple reasons actually, we're dealing with something dark, sinister, something that could be related to Boogeyman even in nature. And what is Boogeyman? A shadow figure entity that is very very odd and uh, well what does this horse take a replica of he's a complete shadow he's all black he has white eyes he's nothing he's basically a horse version of boogeyman um so it is very very weird but i think shadow is the best name to go with him so there was tons of suggestions suggesting to name him shadow so if you commented that shout out to you i if i'm editing this video and i remember i will put some of the comments up that was suggesting to name him shadow so you guys get a little moment of fame there and uh i appreciate it so nevertheless uh that is our horse shadow now he will be addressed and we hope shadow goes on many adventures with us and helps kind of figure out what's going on and uh we hope he's not against us and secretly killing us another thing we need to do is build a little pin for shadow because i feel bad just tying him to a pole here he has no sense of freedom so he wants to walk away but he has to go back so we're gonna build shadow a nice little pin eventually and um we're gonna have him all nice and uh prepped up for any type of future and future so uh with the totem though in the entity that we spotted at the totem i think a lot of people had a lot to say about the entity specifically and that's something that i also wanted to kind of go over and just kind of redirect my thoughts on on what i believe this weird entity is uh could it be boogeyman uh it didn't look like boogeyman i think that's uh, looking back on the clips, revising it, it definitely did not look like Boogeyman in any way whatsoever. And um, that be the case, like, I just think that uh, at the moment we're not dealing with Boogeyman. Or maybe this entity that we spotted is tied to Boogeyman in some way or other. A lot of people were saying it looked like a possessed version of my skeleton in a tuck skin, uh, which I haven't had in quite some time. I decided to rock a default, default skin. Uh, but, um, yeah, so that was really odd. That was really 
interesting. The entity that's been appearing, uh, a lot of people are not sure what this entity entails, what it is about. I, myself, and with all of you on that. And there was an audio clip a while back uh, when I left my Minecraft world on all night of what appeared to be a sobbing sound. A, a sound unlike any other, something that you would normally hear in maybe Disc 11 almost. It, it, it maybe had ties to it. It was definitely scary to hear, and I think that alone is not something we can overlook, and we really need to get to addressing that and getting back down to the bottom of that. So, <sighs> with that aside, we have stuff that we need to do with Disc 11. We're probably going to destroy the weird summoning totem uh, due to heavy suggestion from you guys. Uh, so, in the next part, we may very much so do that. Um, I had so much that I needed to talk about today. Like, it's absolutely nuts, guys. I I think for the past two videos, I was playing, like, maps and stuff. So, I kind of took, like, a two-day break from this investigation. And if you guys can't tell, like, I'm, I'm back now. And, like, I'm just, like, everything's hitting me. And it's just, like, I picked up the death note. Uh, again, uh, it's horrible anime reference there. You, you would never understand it if you don't know what I'm talking about. But, uh, either way, we named our horse. We have Shadow... Uh, here alive and in action and shadow is going to be a great con contribution to our uh, Future um, so yeah with that aside, thank you guys so much did not expect this part to go out like it did But I just had an overload of information that I wanted to get to you guys. This is an investigation What do you do with investigations you talk you analyze you configure and you get down to the bottom of a mystery And that's exactly what we're doing here So hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did not already hit the like button if you made it to the end of the video comment below Welcome shadow uh, because we want to welcome him with a warm welcome into the family uh, Because he is going to be a lovable horse that I hope has a very long life so uh like I said, guys, comment below, welcome Shadow, and uh, it also lets me know who made it to the end of the video and who I can give some little extra um, brownie points to. So yeah, with that aside, I will see you guys in the next one.